Hi, this is Rob. I'm going to do an unboxing of the Nokia 8110 4G phone and go over some of its features. On the side of the box, it shows the YouTube and Facebook logos. This phone comes with the YouTube and Facebook app. On the back, 4G, dual SIM, an app store, a 2 megapixel back camera, no front camera, preloaded with Snake Game, Qualcomm 205, Wi-Fi, Vol LTE. Vol LTE stands for Voice Over Long-Term Evolution. It's voice calls over a 4G LTE network. This phone also has Bluetooth, FM radio, can support a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes, has a micro SIM and nano SIM slots. The other side of the box. Okay, let's open this up. It's always interesting to see what type of problems you will have when opening up a uh, new product. There is tape on the top and bottom to cut. Then pull these plastic tabs out on the top and bottom. Pull the phone out. Take it out of the plastic. Remove the protective plastic from the bottom. And there it is, the Nokia 8110 4G phone. So most of the phone is made of cheap plastic, but the price of the phone is cheap. A cheap companion phone or a cheap backup phone to have. This phone is reliable and can provide basic connectivity. Inside the actual box is a quick guide. I bought this phone in Spain, so I have a quick guide in Spanish and Portuguese. The charger with a European plug because I'm in Europe. This is a 550 milliamp wall adapter. They call this a headset. It is cheap and you'll probably not use them. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The earpiece is too large for my ears. The battery. This is a BV6A battery, 1500 milliamps. Nokia claims 25 days of standby time, but you have to turn off the Wi-Fi hotspot feature to get that 25 days of standby time. You get about 10 hours of talk time on a single charge. Charging the battery is slow. To charge the battery from 0% to 63% takes about an hour, and to charge the battery from 0% to 100% takes three hours and 10 minutes. Even if you use a different charger with a faster milliamp charging capability, this battery only charges about 500 milliamps per hour. Thus it takes three hours to completely charge. To save battery power, there are some things you can do. Select only the sounds that you need. Mute unnecessary sounds such as keypad sounds. Use a wired headset rather than the loudspeaker. Change the phone screen settings by setting the phone screen to switch off after a short period and lower the screen brightness. Only turn on Bluetooth when you need it and then turn it off when you don't need it. And turn off the Wi-Fi hotspot feature when internet sharing is not needed. Let's install the battery. On the bottom back, there's a little slot to stick your fingernail in and pop open the back of the phone. The battery goes in like so. Both the first SIM card and the micro SD card goes in this slot, the slot next to the battery and a second SIM card can go in here. I'll put the back cover on. 
snaps back in place pretty good. Let's start it up. There's a button on the right upper side. Press and hold it in. The phone is starting up. This is the Kai operating system. It will take a minute or two for the phone to start up, so I'll give you some more information about this phone. The phone has geolocation, which means it can approximate your location. To determine your location, it uses a combination of a GPS, the Wi-Fi, and the mobile network. You can turn off the geolocation in the settings. The Nokia 8110 has a FM radio, clock, timer, alarm, calendar, note writer, calculator, voice recorder, unit converter, web browser, MP3 player, and a wireless hotspot feature. You can send and receive text. Okay, the phone is on. That's it for this unboxing. Go to my video on how to set up the phone and I have other videos about how to use some of the features on the Nokia 8110 4G phone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.